Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne. My name is Beth and I'm back again doing your July 2015 monthly tarot horoscope. This is for everyone with their ascendant sun or moon in the lovely Capricorn. Uh, and I'm back using my regular Shadowscapes deck. Um, and for those of you, sorry, my hair is a little bit wild today. Uh, for those of you who are looking forward to my sex and relationships videos, I have not completed those yet. So it's just a matter of time. But um, if you do want a private reading and you want me to use the Decameron deck, the erotic deck that I use for that, feel free to email me, ElizabethOlson31 at gmail.com. Or for that matter, if you'd like just a regular reading, um, I'm happy to get you set up. Um, again, it's ElizabethOlson31 at gmail.com. So, um, so yeah, again, this is for everyone with their sun, moon, or ascendant in the lovely Capricorn. I have a huge Capricorn following, and I really appreciate it. I mean, it's very flattering um, that Capricorns really, you know, are vibrating so much or resonating so much with my, my readings. Um, so let me just roll out a spread for you guys and see what you guys get. Um... Okay, so um, to start off, I'm just going to start at the ending, okay, the outcome card, um, because I feel like it's a tough, it's a tough one. This reading actually is um, indicative of some major, I would say, Fate elements, fated elements. Fate is really playing a role right now in your life. So it may seem like the road is really rocky, and it always kind of is for Capricorn. It's just unfortunate. Um, but <clears throat> um, this is one of those times, this is one of those months where fate is really playing a role. So it may just feel like, you know, like usual almost, like you're not getting anywhere, um, or you don't, you're not getting what you want. And Capricorns, it's very important that they get what they want. Um, more than anything else, it's like Capricorns' willpower is really strong. So, um, but there's a certain type of spread that I see um, where every card in the spread, and it usually is mainly this is the one that I see, where every card in the spread is positive with the exception of one card as the outcome. And it doesn't even matter what that one card is. The one card as the outcome that's negative she tells me it's fated. It's like the dead end. It's like you come to a dead end and you're like, well, what the fuck? How does, you know, it's like you could be going along in life, but you come to this dead end. Um, so the outcome for you is the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups is, you know, melancholy. Um, sometimes I think of it as withdrawal as well, living in the fantasy, not the reality, um, not being able to concentrate, um, lack of time management, you know, maybe, you know, the end of July may be a time where you, 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 you know, you sleep more, you're tired more, you need more alone time, you need more rest. Um, Capricorn males, you may be thinking about a Pisces or Cancer Scorpio female. Um, she may not be calling you. This is where um, there's significant disconnect from the world, okay? So Capricorn females, this may be you in the sense that you may just want to disconnect from the world at the end of July. You may just be over it. And I feel like the reason you want to disconnect is because things may not be going your way. Uh, or things may not have been going your way. It feels like everything's good with the exception of this one tricky card. And so that tells me fate is, is playing a role. Things are fated to be a certain way for you. And the harder you try to force it, the harder you try, which is like, you know, you know, Capricorns are like the hard workers. They'll try harder. 
they'll just keep going and going and trying and trying and trying and trying until they get it, you know? Um, but the thing is, is that this is not the month for that. This is the month to, in a way, disconnect, you know? Maybe this is your coping mechanism. This is a way of coping at the end of July where you end up disconnecting, um, But this is still something that you need to overcome. This is still a challenge. So even if you do disconnect, even though that's what you need, it's still not the best thing for you. Even though it's faded, it's not, it's like, it's uncomfortable. It's, it's, a, it's, like, ro it's like a rocky road. It's uncomfortable. It's an uncomfortable ride, okay? Um, nobody likes an uncomfortable ride. So sort of like, it's, it's sort of faded to happen, and you might not like it, basically is what I'm telling you. Um, you might be really pissed off at the end of July, feeling like what just happened in July, I thought this was supposed to be a great month and it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to. But there are things that are happening in the month that are just as important. You have a lot of stuff going on. I feel like this is the time, specifically in relationships, this is not necessarily the time for relationships for you, okay? Um... This is a time where you're really kind of coming into your own power um, because you have this you have this nine of pentacles, which is the star card. Some of you are going to be famous or are famous or, um, you know, things are really like your career is really amping up. When this happens, there may be things sort of like there may be things that are fated to happen for you in career. Where so your love life is kind of taking the back burner. So it's like if you're trying to push forward for a certain relationship or a relationship in general, you might not be getting anywhere. And it could go the other way, where you may be really, really, really trying to push forward in career and you can't because you know your relationships are on supposed to be in the front burner. I don't feel like to me, the universe is saying you need to come into your own power and you're going to in July. Okay. Um, I feel like you've gotten this card before. But this is still, you know, there's strong, there's a strong, um, there's a strong music component and there's a strong, um, beauty component, art component, magic component. Um, this is, this is fame. This is fame at its, at its best. Okay. So, you know, you might be, um, more popular in July than you ever thought you would be, okay? Um, for whatever reason, that, that's, you know, something that's going on with you. Um, now, going back to the fate issue, though. Let's go back to the fate issue. I pulled another card. I pulled two other cards. And the following card was the Emperor, which is the fate card, okay? So, it's like... <laughs> really faded. July, the ending of July, July in entirety is faded. Things are faded to be, okay, or not to be. And things are happening in a certain time frame. Um, it's almost like I'm getting, it's, it's faded for it not to happen in July. Certain things, there are certain things that are faded not to happen, okay? And it may be the thing that you want the most, you know, whatever it is that you're thinking right now that you want the most, um, I feel like it's going to happen in August. Um, but I also feel like there's been a significant shift in time uh, where the things that I thought were going to happen in June um, didn't come to pass. And I think part of that is because of the retrograde. I really do. Very strongly. Okay? That really, this last retrograde really screwed us up. Okay? Major big time. I'm not a big fan of Mercury retrograde, as you know. So, I think it caused a significant shift of, of things to happen later. Um, and originally, I thought, like, a lot of things were going to happen in the first part of this year. Um... And now I'm beginning to feel like it's more going to happen in the second half. So, and specifically, you know, the thing that you may want, the thing that you want, I feel like is going to happen in August. 
Um, as of right now, that's my feeling. Um, the emperor is, it's sort of like, it's sort of like the timing of things, uh, in the way you expect them to happen. So it's almost like the universe is saying, you're not going to get your way right now. You may not ever get your way, but there is, if it should come to pass, it's going to come to pass in a timing that you are not in control of. And Capricorns hate this, okay? They hate it with all their might. They hate it so much, okay? So I understand completely, okay? But I'm here to tell you that my feeling is, you know, you're dealing with fate. And fate is timing. And fate is... Divine, the divine, everything that's divine, okay? Divine planning. Um, you know, it's sort of like if you're supposed to meet Mr. Right, it's got to happen at, at the corner of 5th and Broadway um, at, at a certain time. So it's it's got to be that way. So, so that's the outcome. Now, the underlying thing is the Ace of Wands. The universe really wants you to make your mark. Okay, the universe does not want you Capricorn to, and here's the Capricorn challenge. I mean, Capricorn challenge is the work, you know, is focus on work, is focus not on family as much. So I feel like the family thing, the, the relationship thing is taking a back burner because it's like your focus is working, is on work and career. Um, and that's what sort of what you're supposed to be focusing on, I feel. I'm not saying that you can't have family and can't have career, but I'm saying in the month of July, um, you're making your mark on the world. You know, you've got the Ace of Wands, which is making your mark. The Ace of Wands is also passion. I kind of want to, I kind of feel like you have like an underlying, you're very passionate. July is a very passionate time, especially the end of July, okay? Very passionate time for you. Um, if you haven't had sex in a while, July is, you know, I feel like a very sexy time for you. Very sexy time. But you have so many career cards in this reading that it's just like, you may have like this underlying sex drive, you know, but you might not actually do the deed, you know, <laughs> <laughs> an old co-worker who used to say, do the nasty, do the dirty deed, or whatever. And I don't see it that way. I don't see it as being bad. But that's what she would say, and I would laugh, uh, until, you know, later this summer. Uh, if you haven't had sex that much, and, you know, your your partner is not around. Um, uh, or, the, or for your single, those single folks that, you know, haven't gotten it on for some time. Um... You also have, in the position of your attitude, you have the high priestess, okay? The high priestess is psychic. Is this a medium? This is a medium, okay? More than psychic, but, you know, psychics and mediums have similar abilities, okay? Very similar. Um, so you already kind of know what's going on. You already kind of have a feeling. You have your own sense of timing. You have your own sense of intuition. Um, some of you have... Some of you have like a job as a medium or some of you have a job as a psychic or somebody who's in like the healing field doing similarly what to what I do. Uh, you know, you're a light worker. Um, and I feel like I've got, I, I've gotten this card for you before. Um, I feel like in the month of July, I feel like you're going to do a lot more with natural remedies. You may learn a lot more about natural remedies. They're, they're drawing my attention to these like little twigs around her waist. Um, there's a connection you have to wood or to trees um, and like the natural world. So you need to, and like birds. So you need to kind of get out there and um, do a little bit more research on like natural remedies or um, just like be in nature. I feel like being around the trees, going for a walk, maybe a hike or something in the woods would be really good for you. Okay. So, so we got the career issue, the, the career focus here. It's not, it's not an issue, I would say, but it's a focus. Okay. The reading has got the eight of pentacles as what's crowning you. 
the beginning of July, okay? This was crowning it. This is the spider card, okay? And the spider card is, in my mind, the worker bee of the zodiac. It's the somebody who's working, you know, 90 hours a week. Um, basically, you're always working. Um, it can also indicate there's several parts to the spider card. There's this, the, the spider that has, you know, you're basically your own boss. You made your own business. You're kind of like me. You're independent. And then some of you are more the critters that are stuck in a job. They feel stuck in a job. And the spider, your boss, is draining your blood, okay, is somebody who's really taking advantage of your hardworking nature and is pushing you to your limits, okay? Um, the happier Capricorn is someone who's on their, doing things on their own. That's the happier Capricorn. Um, you know, the person that's their own boss. So, so in the beginning of July, we've got the Eight of Pentacles, which is the career. For those of you who are looking for a new job, um, you know, I feel like this is a new job opportunity. However, I feel like predominantly because you have the beginning of the Eight of Pentacles and then you have in the middle the Nine of Pentacles. Um, it's almost just like your your career is like ready to like, I just want to say explode. It's just like, it's like ramping up. It's like gearing up for something major. There's some major events that are going to happen, I feel like, in July or even August with your career. So be patient because, and if you get any really cool opportunities, you know, email me or, or message me. I'd love to hear about it. Um, it's, it's a great time for you. Um, it's almost like you go from working really hard, this is the Eight of Pentacles, to stardom. Like, whatever it is that you've been putting in your time and effort on, that's, you know, the next logical step. It's like you're going to get rewarded for all of your hard work and all of your efforts. Which is, the that's, the thing is, the Capricorns really need appreciation. They lack appreciation. People do not appreciate a Capricorn enough, I feel. Um, and a Capricorn can really never get enough appreciation, okay? Um... So this is a really great time. I feel like you're going to be really grateful that this has happened. It's almost like they're showing me like Florence and the Machine. I don't know if you know who that artist is, but um, she, I think her history as soon as like as soon as she got rec like you know world renowned recognition, she became very depressed. Um, shortly thereafter, I mean, don't quote me on this, you know, this is her, this is what I was reading about her on Wikipedia, and you know how accurate that is, but but. You know, it's the same type of thing. You may reach this level of fame or where your notoriety where people are like, you know, talking a lot about you and, you know, you're becoming quite the star and then suddenly it's like you you go into hiding almost. You go into hiding and you lock your door and you don't talk to anybody and you just kind of cut everything off um, because it may be... You knew it was coming, but you didn't know how much, and you maybe weren't prepared for it entirely, and so you're needing to retreat from the world. You're needing your own time to kind of process everything, and you really have, I feel like, are making your mark on the world. It's really great. To me, it's really great. It may not seem really great at the time, though. You know, it may feel like just, like, a sense of just, like, oh my god, like, you know, not being able to really understand what's happening. Um, some of you, okay, so for those of you who are not, you know, destined to become famous or any of that, um, it feels to me that you are going to be still focused on career and you are going to be single. I feel like a lot of single people here, okay? Some of you who are in a relationship are going away. You're buying a house. Everybody's getting the moving card for July. This is crazy, okay? I don't really see this in the every spread. So far, every reading I've done for the month of July, everybody's getting the moving card, okay? There's a lot of movement going on in July. A lot of movement. A lot of travel, okay? Um, wouldn't be surprised if you're taking a trip or you're traveling or you're moving, okay? Um... You know, a lot, I feel like she's pointing upwards, and I feel like it is also for work. Some of you are traveling or moving for work. Um, 
that's kind of how I see it. And some of you need to make music and art uh, more of a priority. So maybe go to a gallery opening or, you know, um, a concert. Some of you may be going to a concert because you've got the travel, we've got the concert card. Um, it's not like July is going to be all work and no play. Don't get me wrong there, okay, Cap? It's, there is, there, to me, it is really great um, energy coming from the spread. It's really positive, I feel. Um, you also have the card in the, the Ace of Swords in the position of emotions. You have this um, very strong, determined card, okay? Um, and this is about cutting people out of your life that aren't really good for you or that aren't helping you. This is making a decision. Um, you know, this is, this is making a decision after much deliberation. Um, there can, you may have some family drama go on in July. Okay. Um, petty issues, money issues, um, you know, I feel like you're going to speak your truth though. This is speaking your truth, using your sword of truth, which is your tongue to tell these people, I'm sorry, this is not okay. I'm not going to discuss this. The end, you know, um, moving on from negative people as well. So just anybody negative in your life, it seems to me that you're going to be become very selective. The word selective is coming to my mind about who is in your life, who's not in your life. Okay. There may be people in your life that, um, that are negative and you make the decision to, to say, I'm sorry, but I can't be, can't talk to you anymore. I can't be friends anymore. Or, you know, it, I feel like it's more has to do with family for most of you. There's some family issues that I feel like are going to come up where you're going to need to speak up and you're going to, okay. Um, you're going to speak your truth there. Um, and it's, it's, it's for the best. Uh, so don't, don't, you know, question or second guess yourself. Am I doing the right thing? No, you're doing the right thing. Capricorn is always kind of takes on more responsibility. They take on more responsibility than on pretty much any other sign. They are the one that says yes. They're the one that, um, well, not all the time. They, they take the responsibility on when kind of nobody else wants to take it on. They, they, they you know, it's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. And that's the Capricorn, you know, they, they willingly accept responsibility because they realize somebody's got to step up to the plate and they usually do. Okay. So this is stepping up to the plate in some way, um, in July, mid July and speaking your truth and saying, this isn't right. This is what needs to happen. The end. Um, or, you know, this is also moving on from people, like I said, in your life that aren't healthy for you. Okay. In some way. Um, now you've got kind of like a little hodgepodge of stuff here that's been going on that just feels to me, um, disconnected from the reading. So it's almost like the past in the recent past is over in its own little section. Okay. In the sense that it's just not really linking up with everything else. It, to me, July... This is, is a really strong, powerful month for you, Capricorn. Very strong time. This is not a time to um, um, to second guess yourself. This is a time to really go forward with your truth, with your light, and, and be the angel to the world. Um, it's kind of you know, how, how it's, it needs to happen. And you're, and I feel like you're going to be rewarded greatly for your efforts and for the things that you you're doing. Um, so, but in the past, in like the recent past, you know, you've got the judgment card, which is kind of laying your past to rest. It's forgiving yourself for all those choices and things that you made, you know, back in the day, which aren't, which didn't help you in some way, or they may have set you back in some way. 
Um, and just, you need to, do need to forgive yourself. I feel like it's a process. Um, and it's almost like, I feel like a lot of you really just started over, you know, or, or are starting over, um, in relationships and in life. It's almost like you've hit the reset button and you're really, to me, the judgment card is, it's, it's a fresh step. It's a new morning. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's, it's a whole new life. So kind of like, you know, in the past, you, you kind of come through a time where you may have had to lay the past to rest and kind of, you're in a much different place now. Um, I feel than you were. Okay. Um, and you also, so you have the six of pentacles as the foundation, which I usually call as the resentment card. Not always though. Okay. Some of you are waiting on a settlement and some of you are going to get it. Okay. Um, some of you are, you know, there may be some in your life, um, who's looking for a 50, 50 partnership. And some of you are in a 50, 50 partnership. This could also be someone who wants to help you out in some way. Um, this is the foundation. So you may be in a situation where you're, you're like similar to Aries. You may be in a relationship with an Aries, Capricorn, Aries combinations. Um, typically quite interesting and dynamic. Uh, message me if you're in that. It's it's a, it can be really like your best friends, but then you do butt heads because Capricorn wants to be in charge and so does the Aries. Um, so um, I feel like for those of you who are in a relationship um, in the month of July, it's actually good. I feel like the relationship is good. It's an equal partnership. Um, but this may be for those of you who are single, what you really are looking for. You're really looking for a best friend or a partner or somebody who's, who's going to support you, but you can also support back. Okay. Um, you may have been in an unequal partnership in the past, um, uh, where that person really took everything from you or they didn't give anything back or you felt like they didn't give enough. Um, I usually see it as having people having child support issues or issues with a spouse that's greedy or grubby or penny pinching in some way. So, um, doesn't necessarily mean that they are, it just means that a lot of times this is what shows up for this card. Okay. So, um, there, there are several components as it's interesting that this is the foundation because I don't, for the foundation to be, um, you know, one of the, to me, it's a legal card. Um, this may be part of the problem of why things are not happening in the way that you want them to happen or when you want them to happen. Because if you have a lawsuit kind of pending or you have something going on legally, um, it sets everything back. It clouds everything. It blocks things. It's, it's really messed up. I can't even tell you what it does energetically. It's really negative. Um, so this is something that kind of needs to come to an end. If you're in the middle of a lawsuit, my suggestion is get out of it as soon as possible. Settle it as soon as possible. Don't let it continue on. I don't feel like it's going to, but I think it is causing. It's connecting the, the first and the last. Okay, so it's like the foundation and the outcome connect. Okay, to me, these are cards that do connect. Um, and so... This is why I feel like you may be kind of, in a way, disconnected at the end of July because you're overwhelmed. You just need space. You need time to process things. Um, and it may be faded that this happened in July, and that's why it's causing delay with your love life. It's causing delay with maybe some career pro issues. It may be causing delay for some of you who are building a house and makes cause a delay building the house or something to do with moving. Um, for the most part, I feel like your career and moving and traveling and all that is very positive. Um, so the delay or the issue at the very end of the month to me is just coming in because, um, because either of a, an existing partnership that you have that that's full of resentment and needs to come to an end or for those of you who are, um, I'm also getting some of you are fated to be in a 50-50 partnership where it kind of has to be 50-50, um, where you're supposed to be with a certain person and it's not time yet. 
okay? It's not time for you to be with them yet, but it's soon. So know that it's soon and uh, take heart in knowing, you know, that you're going to be with him or her eventually, okay? And um, there may be some other things clouding it. So it may be, okay, your, your career is on the front burner, you know, you've got a settlement situation um, or a law situation or just in the past you haven't had a 50-50 partnership and it's something that needs to happen because you've decided on a soul level that that's what you wanted to learn in this life. So that's what's coming, I feel. Um, I'm getting a tingle on that, strong tingle on that. So um, if you are single, you are going to be in a relationship that's very, very positive, okay? The next relationship you get into is going to be what I consider a very equal 50-50 partnership where you give to them and they give to you and it's not an exchange of services, it's just a real relationship. Um, so it's, it, to me, it's, it's all about timing and the correct time um, things will move forward there. Now, in the heartbeat of the reading, <laughs> the last uh, two cards, the Eight of Cups, um, and which is the um, the card about moving away from any kind of emotional issues. This is the Peace of Mind card. It's a really great card, actually. Um, so it's very positive, very strong. You have a lot of strong cards in this reading, very strong cards. Um, a lot of very strong elements here. Um, this is, yeah, this is moving away from any kind of troubling times. To me, you have the Judgment card and the Eight of Cups together, which is linking up in a way to, this is, you know, really you're coming to the very, I wouldn't say you're coming to the end. I'm saying you're, in a way you've started over and all that stuff from the past is, is, is dead and gone. Okay. That. Um, that concern, you know, emotional difficulty. Um, I feel like you're going to get to a really good emotional place um, in um, in July. You may be in a relationship with the Pisces, Capricorn guys or girls. Um, or Cancer or Scorpio, but I feel predominantly more Pisces. Um... Could also be a Libra as well that you're in a relationship with. And you do get, the reason I said it is because you got the Eight of Wands. And this is the Fall Fairy. And I think of the Fall Fairy as kind of the Libra, you know. The very wise librarian, you know, very bookish girl who's, um, you know, kind of there to grant you your wish. She kind of just shows up. And she's like, I know everything. This is Libra. I know everything. So you just go ahead and ask me what you want and I'll tell you. I'll give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find it in the universe for you. Don't worry. That's the, to me. That's a Libra. Very, you know, quick, um, witty, uh, kind. Um, you know, easygoing. Um, it's so interesting because you the what you got is the strength card is what you're wishing for, and it's interesting because. Everybody has insecurities, you know, and it's interesting that Capricorn is really trying to, looking for strength and to be strong, and um, everybody can be stronger, you know, I think. Um, but this is also a 50-50 partnership. This is also, the strength card is about a girl who has a lot of inner strength. Um, she doesn't have a lot of physical strength. She's got a lot of inner strength. You know, what's inside her is like this huge, like amazing person. Um, and it's like she meets this guy or girl that um, is very um, physically strong, okay? And she tames the beast because they have this balance, the yin and the yang of her, you know, inner strength and inner beauty over and his physical strength and outer, you know, outer beauty, basically. Um, so, or not beauty, but outer, 
you know, just physical strength, outer appearance. Um, so this is, to me, you're going to get your wish. You're going to be in a 50-50 partnership where um, I feel like you're going to have a family with this person. Um, this person may have a lot of Leo in their chart, okay? Uh, this person may have a little bit of controlling tendencies. Um, but I feel like ultimately this is a really strong partnership. I feel like for you Capricorn males, because I can see, do see this as a Capricorn Aquarius combo. A lot of times she's an Aquarius, but she can be a Gemini or Libra as well um, with an Aries, Taurus, or Capricorn, a Leo, or Sag. Um, there's just, but usually it's like, it's either Aquarius or Leo, or it's that, it's that strong dynamic. So you may have some Aquarius in your chart. They may have some Leo in their chart. Um, but this is ultimately to me, it's about, um, a beautiful match. This is a beautiful match. It can indicate when there's a lot of other cards, a lot of other issues, Control, domination, someone's going to control, someone's going to be in control, okay? Um, and it's also taming that beast within. You know, the beast within is somebody that has issues, um, temptation, desires, inner desires. There's a lot of, you know, it's a strong, it may be a strong desire for someone. It may be that you really, really desire someone in July and you have to kind of control it. And you're looking for strength because you need the strength to control it and to not give in. And you may, in the end, disconnect from this person because you may uh, feel like you can't control it. Like if you're around this person, you may feel like you want to jump their bones or something, you know, or jump their bone. <laughs> You know, Capricorn is the horny goat. You know, so I'm, I'm just saying that maybe, you know, you're trying to, con you, you need the strength to control your desire, inner desire. And, um, and I feel like you're going to get it. I feel like you're going to be in a relationship at some point in the future with someone where it's a 50-50 partnership. But you may have to kind of tame the beast in them and you may need to tame the beast in yourself first um before you can be in a relationship with them um so that's all that i'm getting for you lovely caps um feel free to message me and email me um you know if you want a private reading let me know i charge 75 an hour you can check out all um, my prices and my schedule in the about section on my youtube channel um, I come constantly updating and I am doing couple sessions. It's a $75 an hour. So if you and your partner would like to do a um, session, I usually book the one hour um, session and the rule is no fighting. And um, basically I do three spreads. The, you know, the first one is for him or her and the other one's for the partner. And the third one is for, um, you know, the combination of the two things. So um, that's how I begin the reading anyways. Um, so yeah, feel free to let me know if you'd be interested in that. And stay tuned for more, okay? I'm going to send you big hugs. Cubs. Big kisses. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Okay, take care.